gone. Who are you hiding from in here? <sighs> what are you up to? <laughs> well, why aren't you upstairs resting with the other girl? What is this, Scarlet? A secret? Oh, Ashley. Ashley. I love you. Scarlet. I love you, I do. Well, isn't it enough that you've gathered every other man's heart today? You've always had mine. You cut your teeth on it. Oh, you tease me now. Have I your heart, my darling? I love you, I love you. You mustn't say such things. You'll hate me for hearing them. Oh, I could never hate you, and, and I know you must care about me. Oh, you do care, don't you? Yes. I care. Oh, can't we go away and forget we ever said these things? But how can we do that? Don't you... Don't you want to marry me? I'm going to marry Melanie. But you can't, not if you care for me. Oh, my dear, why must you make me say things that will hurt you? How can I make you understand? You're so young and unthinking, you don't know what marriage means. I know I love you and I want to be your wife. You don't love Melanie. She's like me, Scott. She's part of my blood and we understand each other. But you love me. How could I help loving you? You who have all the passion for life that I lack. But that kind of love isn't enough to make a successful marriage for two people who are as different as we are. Why don't you say it, you coward? You're afraid to marry me. You'd rather live with that silly little fool who can't open a mouth except say yes, no, and raise a parcel of mealy mouths, brats, just like... You mustn't say things like that about Melanie. Who are you to tell me I mustn't? You led me on. You, you made me believe you wanted to marry me. Now, Scarlett, be fair. I never at any time... You did, it's true, you did. I hate you till I die. I can't think of anything bad enough to call you. The war started. Sir, you... You should have made your presence known. In the middle of that beautiful love scene? That wouldn't have been very tactful, would it? But don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Sir, you are no gentleman. And you, miss, are no lady. Oh. But don't think that I hold that against you. Ladies have never held any charm for me. First you take a low, common advantage of me. Then you insult me. I meant it as a compliment. And I hope to see more of you when you're free of the spell of the elegant Mr. Wilkes. He doesn't strike me as half good enough for a girl of your... Uh, what was it? Your passion for living? How dare you? You aren't fit to wipe his boots. <laughs> and you were going to hate him for the rest of your life. 